Don't stop me now, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. Ooh la la, could Usman Dembele actually join Chelsea in the end after perhaps stating he wants to stay at Barcelona? Chelsea have now reportedly put an offer in, finally, for the Frenchman. Could Chelsea get both Raz Sterling and Usman Dembele? Maybe this could happen. And Nathan Ake. <laughs> We'll see what happens there. We're going to talk about that. Lots to reference today. Lots to get into today. Thank you for joining me on Football Therapy. On Chelsea News, of course, the daily series here on the channel where I reflect on what's being said about the news, giving you my opinion. More importantly, mate, asking for yours. If you like daily daily Chelsea news updates and my reactions, do consider subscribing to this channel and turning the bell on so you get notified when I upload and you can show that you're enjoying the content by simply clicking that like button. Takes a second, man. Today we're referencing Get French Football News, who are a good source for anything French football. Of course, in this instance, Ousmane Dembele coming to Chelsea. Mm. Also, Matt Law's article on the Daily Telegraph, which I will link down dans, uh, sous leur, sous leur description? down in the description. Um, let's start off with Ousmane Demashi. No, no, let's start off with uh, Raheem Sterling and uh, Nathan Aki double deal exclusive. Chelsea in talks for Raheem Sterling and Nathan Aki double deal. Written by Matt Law, as I said, on The Telegraph. Chelsea have opened talks with Manchester City over the prospect of a double move for Raheem Sterling and Nathan Aki. Co-owner Todd Bowley contacted the Premier League champions on Monday, yesterday, to check on their valuation of both players, with Chelsea keen to sign both. While Sterling has emerged as one of Chelsea's top attacking targets some time ago, uh, and has already been contacted by head coach Thomas Tuchel, Ake has moved towards the top of their p list of their potential defensive signings. Tuchel was interested in signing Ake when he was in charge of Borussia Dortmund. And the fact the 27-year-old can slot in at uh, three of the in the back three to replace Rudiger, as well as fit in the left back and in midfield, is particularly attractive. Well, yeah, let's just discard midfield because how likely is Ake going to play in midfield? He can play centre back, left centre back, left back, left wing back. That's four. You could if you say five if you want to add uh, midfield, which I really doubt he'd play. What do we know about Thomas Tuchel? He likes versatility. Ake is versatile and the fact how this is uninspiring for obvious reasons we've had him as a player we loaned him to Bournemouth we had first refusal before Man City bought him so it always stings buying players back but again we have to take a deep breath and go it's about backing the manager the manager's wanted him and his teams for years maybe this is an opportunity mm. though I understand uninspiring Ake also offers Premier League experience, which could be vital given Chelsea have uh, to sign at least two new central defenders this summer. Just as Sterling would be open to a move to Stamford Bridge, Ake is thought to be open to the idea of returning to Chelsea, where he spent seven years after joining as a 15-year-old. Chelsea have spoken to Juventus about Matthias de Ligt, but the Italians are currently holding out for a huge fee which has held up progress, while discussions are ongoing for a move for long-term target Jules Koundé from Sevilla. Were Chelsea to sign Koundé and Ake, then Reese James could start next season on the right of a back three, while the Frenchman tries right wing back uh, to let, let him get time used to English football. Pause. We all are frustrated to hear about Reese James going back to a back three, but I mean, I don't know where Matt Law's getting this from, if this is speculation or if someone has told him this. There's probably method behind the madness. Let, net letting um because when you're playing wing back, you don't have as much recovery responsibility as the right centre back. Maybe that's an opportunity for Kunde to settle. No one wants to see Kunde playing right wing back so in Reese James playing right centre back. You want them the other way around. So I don't know where this is necessarily coming from, how true this is from Matt Law, but that would be very frustrating, mate. Let's read on. Other than Sterling, Chelsea are interested in Arsenal target Rafinha, Everton star Richarlison, uh, who Tottenham Hotspur have opened discussions over, and Barcelona's Ousmane Dembele. More on him in a moment. 
The responsibility on Bowley's shoulders increased after Petacek joined the Chelsea exodus and has followed a change of ownership. That followed a change of ownership. Czech has stepped down, of course, from his role as technical and performance advisor with Chelsea um, following last week's departures of uh, Bruce Buck and Marina Granovskaya. As well as Czech, Granovskaya and Buck, former chief executive Guy Lawrence and ex-head of goalkeeping Christoph Lolishon have all left this summer. Ch -ch -ch changes turn and faces change it ch -ch changes Bowley has asked Czech to stay and help him through the transfer window but the 40 year old informed him in a meeting that he felt it was the right time to go Czech said quote it's been a huge privilege to perform this role he didn't talk like that at Chelsea for the past three years with the club under new ownership I feel now is the right time for me to step aside I'm pleased the club is in an excellent position with the new owners and I'm confident of its future success both on and off the pitch you can read this article by clicking the link in the description should you want to check this out um <clears throat> Mm. Also, reports coming online from Man City related the Manchester Evening News that uh, Todd Bowley is currently uh, negotiating with Man City directly, deliberately, quietly out of the reach of the media as they discuss a price for Raheem Sterling and presumably and supposedly Nathan Ake looking at this story. I have no problem with Ake. I think he's quite a good player. Buying him back would just feel a little bit another one. It would just feel quite Chelsea, wouldn't it? I know a lot of people would think, oh, why, you know, why Ake when we let Gerhi and Tomori go? But this article would dictate from Matt Law, tactical versatility. He wants them to be able to play several positions. Nathan Ake can do that. Nathan Ake is a good player, man. There's a reason why Man City's paid 50 million odd pounds for him. There's probably a reason why they'd sell him as well. Maybe Nathan Ake suits Chelsea better than he'll suit Man City. Again, tactical versatility. Mm. So have a little think on that as we move on to the next story. We'll talk about attackers, of course. Get French Football News, GFFN, reporting uh, Le Keep's story on Ousmane and Dembele. Being offered a contract by Chelsea because up before yesterday, Chelsea hadn't contacted him. Ben Jacobs on Twitter was going, look, man, he's only, his only offer at the moment is from Barcelona. And that's the one they refused to increase the salary. And he wanted a, that was his, you know, demand. He wanted more wages. So he was in a peculiar, new, unique position. Let's read this and then we'll talk about it a little bit more. As reported by L'Equipe, Barcelona's soon-to-be-out-of-contract French international winger, Ousmane Dembele, is deciding between two proposals. One from his current club, Barcelona, and the other from Chelsea. And also, I don't know whether to believe this, but I saw on Twitter, <laughs> so it must be true, that Bayern have come out of the woodwork and offered him a... Uh, Offered him a contract as well. Of course, Kingsley Coman plays for Bayern. Another French winger he could probably get in his ear and be like, come play for us, mate. Or come play for us, mate. <laughs> Whether that's true or not, you know, I can't imagine Bayern will offer him the same wages as Chelsea. Well, maybe they would, I don't know, because they love a free transfer as well, Bayern Munich. It was reported yesterday that the 25-year-old, after months of meandering talks over his future, is now open to lowering his salary to stay at Barcelona, but the club's offer is still too low. I heard, pause, I heard that they offered him 150k, which is what Ruben Loftus-Cheek is on at Chelsea. You do the math. Uh, with the player's decision over his future imminent, a last-ditch meeting between the parties yesterday came to nothing. However, with Barcelona struggling struggling with financial fair play restrictions, um, I said that wrong. With <laughs> I, just, I got the commas wrong there. Came to nothing, however, with Barcelona's financial problems. So I, the tone was wrong, but you get what I'm saying. Barcelona's offer concerns a three-year deal, only a three-year deal, with a six million euro net annual salary. That's down from the 11 million. That's, he, that's nearly half what he demands. He wants 11 million net. He's been offered six. Dembele was received at this point. And only a three-year deal. He's 25 years old, man. Chelsea would give him a five-year deal and would give him more money for show. His decision will now uh, be between accepting that offer from Barcelona or another proposal from Chelsea. Ooh la la. Whose new owners are keen to make the Frenchman their first marquee signing. 
Then, well, I think Raheem Sterling might be in front of him. A contract offer has been made by the London club, who are looking to pair him with Manchester City's Raheem Sterling in attack. And that offer is tempting Dembele. Finally, Chelsea are moving up, like, you know, woken from the dead, from the slumber. Insert meme of The Undertaker waking up, etc., etc. The prospect of teaming up with his former Dortmund coach, of course, that's the narrative we've been recycling for some time now. Thomas Dougal is also attractive to the player. Ooh, ça c'est très bon, non? With the place in the France's World Cup squad in November and the player's sights... Hold on, stop. I thought he's retired from French football. Hadn't he? Has he? Comment down below to correct me if I'm wrong, ladies and gentlemen. But let's see. With the France's World Cup squad this November in the, in the player's sights. Okay. He's keen for a full and uninterrupted preseason, meaning he will make his decision as soon as possible. Dun, 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 dun. Look, man, we finally made a, a, a contract offer for Usman Dembouz. How do we feel about that? We've reflected on the channel many, 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 many times. How uh, is he sexy, as in like the idea of the signing, I'm sure many find him sexy. Um, and Raheem Sterling is sensible, sensible and sexy. And before we were like, oh, we need to make a choice of do we go for the sensible signing or the sexy signing? Hey, we go for both. <laughs> We go, Romelu Lukaku, Timo Werner out the door, the two highest uh, paid attackers on Chelsea's books. And you bring in two like wingers sort of forwards that one's a bit more creative in Dembele, one's a little bit more goal scoring in Raheem Sterling. You put like, you know, Kai Havertz in the middle, you put Mason Mount somewhere. And, oh, what's going to happen to Mount? Because if you get, look, let's have it right. If you get Sterling and Dembele, they'll want to start at Chelsea. They'll want to start at Chelsea. Like, you know, Pulisic, Ziyech, etc., etc. They'll, you know, don't have much of a case to make in terms of, oh, I want to be starting every game over these guys. But Mason Mount, Chelsea's player of the season twice um, in, uh, in, in a row, two years in a row, wasn't it? I swear it was. Um, he'll make a very strong case for starting, which poses the question, formation change? 4-2-3-1? Mason Mount in the 10 behind the striker, behind Kai Havertz, and they can, like, boop, 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 swap around. Um, interesting. Very, very interesting. Or I'm, I'm very keen to get uh, to uh, put this out to you guys to figure out what you think, because surely they will start. I mean, I guess if Chelsea sign both of these guys, this is, it is a bit of, like, a Chelsea revolution, the Todd Bowley revolution. And if we get both, that'll be excellent. You know, we'll... They need two centre-backs as well. Who knows, maybe a midfielder. We have reported on stories here on the channel before that Chelsea could sign up to six new players in this transfer window, which is incroyable in the language of Usman Dembele. But I want to yeah, put it out to you guys. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Tell me your thoughts, feelings, and opinions on the potentiality of getting both Raheem Sterling and Usman Dembele. Um, I'll be down there reading your comments. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure you hit the bell should you subscribe and please do drop a like to show your support. I appreciate you all. I love you very much and I'll see you very soon. Peace.